Yo, yeah, so guys, and welcome to a brand new video. So, in today's video, and the videos which will be coming in your sub boxes for the next week, is a little challenge I'm going to be setting myself, which is, can I trade from zero coins to a brand new, fresh account, which you see right here, to two million coins. Hey you! Would you like some cheap and reliable coins? Well, don't worry, because I've got you a place. Make sure to head over to FIFA Coin Zone, Hot Swaz, Lad, Com, and use the discount code FLAIR for 2% off. Now, or, what you could do, which is a little bit more reasonable, is use your Amazon Prime or 4 99 subscription over on my Twitch channel. Now you may ask, why would you want to do that? That's a pretty good question. I've got you sorted. Basically, you get a daily trading guide. And what if I've got some questions? Twitter, Twitter DM, Twitch DM, email, business email, you name it. Thanks for watching, and make sure to enjoy the video. Now this comes because last week when Football After is out, I went from 0 to 1.8 million and that wasn't tryharding it too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to full tryhard it for a, for a whole week of trading and see if we can go from 0 to 2 million. This will all be documented, obviously on the YouTube and everything live on Twitch. And uh, we'll be one day after um, it happens. So, you know, for example, today's content will be out tomorrow and, uh, and so on and so on. I'll be using trading, I'll be doing some SBCs. Uh, no gameplay will be done in this, and as I say, I'll show you guys the results of the SBCs. I'll show you a brief bit of trading, because a lot of the trading will be the same. It'll either be silver trading, or it'll be special card trading. And uh, yeah, so let's crack underway with it. Nothing too interesting, you know, obviously it's just a starter SBC. You know, they'll be basically treating us like we're going to have to play. Now, one thing I know a lot of people have an interest in is how on earth do you get your first few coins on FIFA? And it actually starts off with this. Now, it doesn't really matter what nation you're going to go with. I go with England, because it makes it a little bit easier for some of the uh, basic SBCs. Um... But there you go. So it really doesn't matter what you get right here. Obviously, a lone player doesn't come off any interest into the SBCs. Looking at the players they're already giving us, we're actually looking quite good for one of the first SBCs. So I've got to choose a player. This doesn't matter because, again, once again, it's a lone player. I mean, maybe we'll go Modric for, um, for the Googles. I normally end up discarding. Now, this is the first time where you can actually make coins on FIFA. Now, you might make, you know, think, oh, I just go with your favourite kit. You can actually discard this kit and even sell this kit at the beginning of FIFA for coins. So what you need to do is you need to identify the kits, which are gold rare. Because I'll show you later on in the video, you can go and discard these for 150. So, there you go. Olympic Leon is a gold rare kit. I'd have to presume Brazil is a rare gold kit. And again, with a badge, you can discard it as well. I'd presume France is a rare gold badge. So, that right there is 150 coins. And I've done absolutely nothing. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the basic SBCs. I don't really feel the need to show you the basic SBCs because, um, yeah, they're, they're nothing amazing. They're the ones where you put in your bronzes, you get bronzes back. And I'll show you guys as soon as we start, I guess accumulating coins. In fact, yeah, we'll show you as soon as we start accumulating some coins via SBCs or trading. So this is what I'm referring to, getting coins off these rare um, badges and kits and so on. So I can make this active, that therefore kits off that. Make this active, therefore kink can off that. Now, obviously, we're very late in the game, so these kits are absolutely flooded. Bear in mind, EA gives them to you at the beginning. But what you can do right here is you can discard them, and you get 50 coins per one, which means you can go and maybe win a nice card on 150 coins bid, or you can contribute towards coins for SBCs or snipes or so on and so on. So, We'll do right now is uh, yeah, we'll crack underway with probably some of the SBCs and we'll uh, see you in a bit. So what we've done to get our first deal is we have just scrolled through um, Silver's use for League SBCs and uh, basically just trying to pick up anyone for 150. Now, because I imagine the cheapest Silver uh, Mexican League, like, Silver in general is like 200 coins. So, we've got to go in for 150. Even if we're going to send for 200, it gives me 200 coins, which is then enough to go and actually snipe players. So there you go. So the cheapest one is 400. I'm honestly not going to push my luck and sell him for 200. 200 means there's 10 coin tax. I have 15 coins already over. Basically, I will have enough to go and um, I'll have enough to go and snipe players. And then after this, I will probably try and either snipe maybe silver Japanese players or just Premier League players in general. So we have sold on uh, said silver. We got for 150 coins and we've been trying to snipe just Premier League anything for 200 coins. Now we've won ourselves trot right here. Now, Trying to think off the back, I don't know if there are any cheap uh, West Ham goalkeepers, so he might be worth a few coins. We've gone for 200 coins, I'm not going to play it too ambitious, might even just try and send for 300. Uh, loads it up there for 400. So yeah, for means because all, you know, these, these early coins really, really do help, so I may try and play it not ambitious whatsoever, and just list them up for 300 coins. And the observant of you guys will see that we have, yes, got another deal. We've got to have Taylor. Now, I think Taylor will actually do really well, because all rares are up for the Japanese... Whatever the SBC thing is, the player swap. So I think he'll actually do really well because it's uh, it's Premier League. So, going for 250 coins. He's not quite as good as I thought he is. Nowhere near as good as I thought he is. It's probably going to be 350 coins to sell. But nonetheless, it's, uh, it's not too shabby. So I do a lot of silver trading. And we've decided to go from bronzes uh, from the Prem to silvers in the League 1. Because again, I know this market very well. Now, 
I believe this guy's about 1k at the moment, so it's our first real step up because uh, 350 coins to, as you can see, the cheapest one on the market, 1.4k now. Obviously, I'm going to list him up for a desirable price because I do need to sell him pretty fast. We're not sitting here doing absolutely nothing all day. Oh, he would have been nice. Um, yeah, I'm going to go list him up for 900 coins, which again is like 400 coins cheaper than the uh, than the next. And with these coins, I'm then going to start doing the basic SBCs. And what I'll do is I'll probably show you once I've completed one or two of the basic SBCs. So we've managed to sell Sorbonne for 900 coins, which gave us a nice little like five, 600 coin profit. And we've decided to do this uh, this basic SBC. Now, if you guys don't know, there are three basic SBCs, which are very cheap and they give you good rewards. So it gives you a silver premium pack. And of course, with the amount of expensive silvers, it is pretty decent. We started with the cam and left mid already packed. And therefore, we had to go and buy these three guys due to the, uh, the power of me being outbid by people on my stream. Uh, I had to go and buy these cards rather than bid them because uh, otherwise it wouldn't have happened. So it cost me basically, what was it? 550 coins and we get a premium silver player pack that will literally discard for a few K. Best pack, best value for money pack out of here, you know, on the game. So uh, let's see if we can get anything good. You know, obviously there's quite a lot of expensive silvers on the game. We do manage to get ourselves the man, the myth, the legend. A guy who plays in the second of Liga. Brilliant. Well, I'm sure you're going to be worth loads. Let's see if we get anyone who plays uh, for main leagues. Okay, so I know he goes for a little bit. Nothing too amazing. It's a bit of a sad one. Uh, obviously, he's in the second league. He's in the Liga and he's in the MLS. He'll sell for Eredivisie. He won't sell for anything. He'll sell because of La Liga pretty nicely. He might sell because of Eredivisie, but yeah, not overly amazing. Bear in mind, it's a pretty good pack. So, we've just been doing a little bit of silver trading. We really shouldn't. We really should just do a bunch of basic and advanced. But I just wanted to test the market and see what it's like. So... Uh, the method I've been doing is basically go through leagues one by one by one, um, and you search for the expensive players. Now, we've right here gone with FC Nuremberg, centre mid bronze, and we've just gone and managed to pick him up for 900 coins. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send him to my chance list, and we're going to go and see where he goes for. So, we, the reason I knew he was a good deal is because we're searching 1.5k, so obviously if one pops up for 800 coins, it means, well, there's none popping up for the next 700 coins. So, picked him up for 800 coins. The question is, what's he going to go for? Wow, absolutely amazing. We're probably going to make us about 2k on him. And uh, yeah, I, I'll go list him up for probably 2.5k. So we'll be able to therefore make ourselves 1.7k prior tax. If you guys are wondering, we've managed to sell a few of those silver players we've got in the packs. I was also wrong. This guy actually is in the couch train, not the, um, the second French league. So yeah, I'm going to go list him up for 2.5k, make ourselves 1.7k. And uh, not bad, but then going to crack underway with some of the SBCs. So our, uh, our good bronze matey, who we did buy for 800 coins, has managed to sell for uh, 2.5k. We also got this guy actually worth 1.7k in our silver pack, which was decent. Now, what we've gone and done is we have proceeded to move on to doing the basic SBCs. Uh, and they were extremely, extremely cheaper. We've got number one over here. The only players we had to go and buy was the cam for 200 coins, the left mid for 200 coins, and the right mid for 200 coins. So that means 600 coins for a 7.5k pack. I've seen worse days. And finally, moving on to the multi-league in nation. And uh, yeah, this one again is a 7.5k pack. The only thing is I have to buy with two uh, centre backs and two strikers, costing me, what, two, four, six, eight hundred coins. And that's going to give me a, another 7.5k pack. And then we get ourselves a rare mixed pack altogether, which I don't exactly know what it, uh, it would quote unquote value at. So we're going to go and open these. Uh, again, I won't spend too long faffing around with them. And then, uh, then we'll crack underway. Probably going to be doing a little bit of silver trading because it worked so well the first time. So, 7.5k pack, numerate Uno. We do manage to get ourselves not a boards, ever so surprisingly. It is a rare gold. It's going to be a center. It's going to be Cotez. More low than I don't think there is another. Or uh, Caceres, actually. It is Cotez. Lovely. Obviously, we'll go sell them right there. Uh, the contracts and all that lot, I think we'll hold if in case we do a bit of tech heavy on down the line. We get 1k right there. We'll discard the Burnley badge. Actually, screw it. We'll make the Burnley badge our actual badge. Just for good old Vizzy. Vizzy. Or is it? Make it as active. Yes. Go mad. Um, I think we'll discard the injuries because it doesn't sell. And we will go move on to our next pack. So pack number one is actually pretty decent. Cotez and a 1k um, one K coins. Pack number two, 7.5. Can it be equally as good? It's obviously no boards. It is a rare gold. It's an Argentinian left wing. It is going to be... I don't know. Off the top of my head. What is it? It is Piat. Not bad. Five star skinner. Uh, we get Anchor and Catalyst. Wow. Two expensive chem styles. We'll sell on Piat, we'll sell on Sorrentino, uh, we'll sell on Till, discard you, and discard the ball, and on to the next pack. And we've got the last one right here, which is a mixed player pack. We've got four rare golds, four, sorry, four golds, four silver, four bronzes, one rare. Is that a walkout? No, not walkout, boards a minute. We get Harnik, absolutely amazing. Can we go for absolutely nothing? Can we get a expensive silver or bronze in the pack, maybe? We do, so this guy's worth 3k, this guy's worth 500 coins, this guy is worth 400 coins. 
We actually, yeah, actually every single one of them is good for a league SBC. Not too bad at all. So just give you guys a little quick update on what we've been doing. So we've uh, gone and sold on a bunch of these players and we've gone and filled up the chancel list with uh, bronze and silvers we've managed to get for cheap. And again, this is all doing a uh, silver method, which I do have a uh, YouTube video for. If you do want to check them out, I'll put it down below. But uh, yeah, got all these guys for uh, a fair bit cheaper than what they normally go for. I mean, I'll throw you some prices. Going for about... What, 900 coins? Selling for about 1.7. Got all of these for about 900 coins or under. Should be able to sell them for about 1.7 to 1.9. Got two of these. These weren't good deals. Got one for 1.3, one for one, uh, Sorry, one for 2, 3, one for 2, 5. Only going to be able to manage to sell them for 2, 7, 2, 9. Nothing mad. Got this guy for 1.4k. Should be able to sell them for 2.7. I got this guy for 750 coins. And hopefully we'll be selling him on for a 1.5k. So we're doing a bit of a, a bit of BPM. As every good streamer may do. And you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe it. Now I do I do my fair share of silver and bronze trading. And I have just packed the 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 god that it look at this, right? Bronze pack. Now I've I literally have just been slating the bronze pack because I don't believe it's very good. In fact, the reason I'm doing the bronze pack is because I'm actually doing the marquee matchups, not the advanced SBCs, because they end in like an hour and a half. But I have just packed this 13k bronze. Now I do not recommend the bronze method. I think the bronze method is in fact terrible, because I think you can trade way faster. But I have just, uh, some say I, I very uncomfortably may have a horseshoe where the sun doesn't shine. And, uh, and wow, I've just got myself like a 13k bronze player, you know. Now obviously you can see why he's 13, you know, obviously 60 pace, you know, 68 physically. He's just got that, uh, you know, he's got the, you know, obviously the bronze beast sort of vibes. Uh, he's also using a La Liga SBC, which makes him extremely expensive. But uh, yeah, happy days. So, that's that. We now got all the packs to go and open and, um... Hopefully we get something good. You know, obviously we're sitting on 18k and um, whatever we get out of these packs. And then we'll do maybe a little bit of bronze packs uh, before um, for whatever. So we've got the rare Electrum, obviously a really good one. Prime Electrum. And uh, we'll start off with the 5k pack, which was the SBC that cost us like a K. Ever so surprisingly, no boards. Ready to just skip this. In the end of the day, no one really wants to watch uh, a non-board pop-up. We do get Bamba. I'm sure we can sell Bamba on. And we get that guy, we get the uh, Valencia guy, so I know I can send him for 1-4, we get the fitness, discard the rest, keep the uh, contracts and fitness whenever we do a bit of tech heavy on down the line, and uh, yeah, onto the 7.5k pack. Again, if it isn't a walk, in, if it isn't a boards, we'll skip it, there you go. Because I guess boards are a little bit interesting, yeah, no boards at that. Uh, you know if it's boards or not, because it has a thick white smoke compared to a non-thick white smoke, we do get that guy. Again, not really of much interest, um, I guess we'll discard you. Keep the guys of fitness again, because they help you uh, get more fitness and contracts with you. The, uh, whatever it is. The things. The uh, tech have you. Alright, next one, which is a 7.5k with uh, double the amount of players. We don't get boards in this one, so we'll skip it. Again, if we don't get boards, we'll just skip. We do get absolutely nothing of interest. We do get a bunch of contracts and fitnesses, though. There you go. Fitness will sell on. Hey, Cam Center Ford. This is probably one of the most expensive chem styles. You've got the Cam Center Ford and the Center Ford Cam, and both of those are uh, as expensive. Chem cells, Anki will sell on, Wool won't sell on, discard that, discard that. Probably got a few kits to discard, and there's that then. I keep the discard chem cell just because it might come in use one day. Got the premium Electrum pack, which uh, hopefully we might get some good from. Can we at least maybe get a board from it? We don't get a board from it, we get a left back. Ah, it's going to be Gaia, I think. Or it's Jram Costa. Who is it? It is Gaia, brilliant, another 1.4k right there. Uh, I won't send it all because I've just realised we're sitting on a lack of room. This guy might be good for the League SBCs. This guy might be good for the League SBCs. Last year, that guy would have been good for the League SBCs. Not bad. I finally got the uh, Premium Electrum. So it's like half a 50k pack. Uh, and also six rare silvers. So let's see. Can we get boards in this one? No. It would have been the one we would have had a higher chance. Not boards. A walkout. We don't get boards in as well. So we jinxed star luck. We get right mid. We get Traore, if I'm not wrong. Can we get some expensive silver? That's really all we want from it. Uh... Well, I know you're in... That's in the country of B nowadays. I don't believe we have anything too expensive. This guy might sell on um, because of the uh, things. But yeah, nothing too amazing. What we can do is going to sell all this on. And I think what we'll do is we'll join you in case if there's anything at 6pm. So I've got to complete all of the SBCs under, um, I think it was Advanced Nations. So I'm just going to walk you through the silvers which we bought and uh, what we've now sold them for. And then uh, we'll crack under a bunch of packs. So Romario would have got him for about a K or under, sold for 1.9. Got this guy for 750, sold him for 1.5. Got this guy for, I think, 1.6, sold him for 2.7. Got this guy for 3.7, sold him for 5.5. Uh, then got this guy for about 4.4k or something like that, sold for 5.5. Uh, that guy we packed would have got him for about 800 coins, sold him for 1.9. Got him under 900 coins. Would have got him under 900 coins. And that's uh, that's all she wrote. Uh, there you go, Hybrid Nations. We went and did all of them. We'll start off, I guess, with the cheapo one, which is the uh, quads. 
Wasn't really too expensive. You used, I think, one untradable player. They just decided to use the championship because it's got quite a lot of... I know we got used two, so I used the Spanish guy. But yeah, really cheap to do. Obviously, I could replace this guy with any Spanish silver centre-back. I could go through the Sp uh, second Spanish league. But yeah, really cheap team. Can't imagine it would have cost me much more than 5k for a premium gold players pack, which is a 25k pack. It's pretty decent. Moving on to uh, SBC number two, which uh, was really cheap. All the silvers were about 200 coins. So this one, again, must have cost me like 2.5k, 3k. Always go with the uh, second French league because it's got loads of different nations and um, loads of high rated ones of that. Then move on to this one. Again, can't imagine it was too expensive. Each rare is 700, each non-rare is about 400. So what's that? 3.5 added to six, fours, three, five, probably about like 7.2k or something like that. 3528. Let me just get that right. No, 6.2k, 6 6 something like that. I'm going to get absolutely destroyed because I'm probably going to get that wrong. Moving on to the last one, without the maths. We have got ourselves the uh, National Pride, which we only had one position change, which was our left back to left wing back. And then the rest of these, again, I think it was about 10k for the SBC for a mega pack. And once we've done the whole thing, we get ourselves a rare mega pack. Happy, happy days. So time to open them. I think I'll send everything to the club. Uh, and I think we might actually end off today's episode with this. Might do a few, maybe pick up a few silver deals, maybe I'll show you. But um, yeah, I think I'll open these packs off and then, uh, then call it a day because we already probably have a lot of content. So... Pack number uno is a 7.5k pack. Is it... It's not bored, so we'll skip it up. It's not that interesting. And we managed to get ourselves... I mean, Aaron Lennon, I think, sells. Centre forward a striker doesn't really sell, so uh, nothing too amazing. Onto the 25k players pack. Oh, it jumps up pretty fast. No walkout, sadly. We do get boards, though. Here we go. I think it's our first boards of this account. It's going to be uh, Di Maria. Not bad. Di Maria's releasing about 4 5k off the back of Foot Birthday, so... I will take, can I get 284s? No. We get a lot of high red non rares so they might easily sell on. No Japanese players. Oh, actually, Japanese players aren't selling. They've uh, ended that. Then have a 45, 35, and then a 55. So we'll open up the 35 first. Rare mega pack. Sorry, just mega pack. We do not get a walkout. We do get boards though, which is good. I think it's an informer, isn't it? No. We do actually have a brand new team week as well. Goal, it's going to be Perrin. Perrin's not bad. I think he's said about 5, 6k. The only 84 rated uh, counter away goalkeeper. That was Chesney's he's taken out. What else do we get? Ah, uh, sucks. You think you might get a few 84s in there? The bait and switch. Do get a few fitness and, um, let's say we'll discard some of that stuff off of, uh, off of cam. Now we've got the 45k pack. What are we going to get? It's not a walkout. It's still boards though. And it is a gold again. It's Belgium. CDM. Nine gold. No, Ansel Vitzel. Okay. 10k. Of course, only just coming out as a foot birthday player. So I think he's still going to be worth about 11, 12k. So it's been decent so far. Can we get another high rated? Never. We literally have one high rated and that's it. So like, if we didn't have that high rated, the pack would have been gone. And finally, onto the rare mega pack. These are pretty decent. Everything's rare. It's a 35k pack. The most expensive pack out of all of them. Still no walkout, but we do get a boards nonetheless, which is always nice. And it's a gold. And it's Brazilian. Set of back. Ah, uh, it's Felipe. When it could be... Oh, it can't be Marquinhos. He's a team of the week. But uh, yeah, can we get a few other 83s of Felipe? We do, but it's not overly amazing whatsoever. But there you go, so that is going to call it off there as a pack opening. I would say that we're probably going to be sitting on about, with all the stuff we've just packed, I'd probably say we're sitting about 70, 80k uh, coming to the end of day one. I'll probably do a little bit of silver trading. I don't know if I'll include it in the video. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to drop it a like. Feel free to drop down a comment. Anything, uh, any questions you have, maybe regarding silver trading. Again, I'll leave the video for that down below. But thanks for watching, and I shall see you guys tomorrow, where we should carry with day two of zero to two million in seven days.